thank you for stopping by tonight. I just thought that I would uh, just show you what I've done to the binder. So I have put the pages in, including my pages from my journal that I took apart for this. So I'm really excited about this. When I started junk journaling, I, I couldn't wait to finish this one to start this one. So what I did was I ripped all the, the pages out of here and then put them in, since the pages are taller than the binder, I put the journal pages inside of page protectors. So anyway, this is my journal. So besides what's in my black journal, I also have this envelope full of pages and pictures, just different things in here that I want to put in my journal eventually. So they're pictures that I've taken, pictures from magazines, pictures that didn't go in my Project Life journal, just different things that I like. Things I made, you know, things that are positive. That's all this journal is, is just positive stuff. Like, nothing negative. It's everything I like. That's a photograph that I took at the Detroit Zoo a couple years ago. But, you know, it's just different things. That's my wedding. I love milk duds, so I've got to put that in there. Different things, animal pictures. I love animals. Things that wouldn't go into a photo album, but things I want to keep. White Castle. It's not, I don't think it's necessarily that. I think the hamburgers are fantastic, but it's a childhood memory of my dad and us when we lived in, in Sterling Heights in Michigan. I love stamps. This is a BMX cover that my grandson got and it says his name, Gavin. So he, he's in BMX. What's his number? And then I got these on Mother's Day. So just different things. So anyway, so I added pages and pockets and everything from my stash. So this is an envelope I made. Well, I didn't make the envelope, but I collaged the envelope. And actually, I think this was my first time collaging. So I think it turned out okay. And then I, I stitched around the closure here. This is a, a printable that I made. And so inside of this is the notes of thanks and the business cards from the Etsy shop that I purchased things from. So I just wanted to keep those in a separate spot. This was an original page. I didn't want to cut them up, so I just put them in page protectors. And as you can see, they're a little large longer than the protector but that's okay and then I put in a decorated file folder and that's my grandpa and then some pictures I like and then I love this movie and that's my dad this is a ledger paper and again I stitched all around added some washi tape put a postcard in it because as you probably know I love postcards but this, we stayed here in 2006 on our road trip. And then another pocket that I stitched in, the Maltese Falcon. So there will be movies also in here that I like. Another picture, I love barns, flowers. I'm not a gardener, but I do like flowers. And some more pictures, my son, when he was younger, this is from a magazine, some stickers. And my grandson made that for me. 
and then I uh, put different um, sentiments in it or Bible verses or quotes and that's my my grandma and me and my sister a long, long time ago and then my mom's birthday is on January 1st so we all went to Kelsey's well whoever was in Chatham at the time from my grandson again this is my son and rain Casablanca so I added this scrapbook paper and that's my grandma a Bible verse and I added this page and then this is a uh, stamps and one of my grandsons my dad and his siblings this is uh, my dad He's wearing those white shorts. I guess that was a thing up for boys back then. So this is a pocket I made from the instructions of a pattern. And there's another Bible verse with a journaling spot. And then this is a page from a magazine that I stitched um, and then this is uh, my grandson's one of his Instagram pictures it's my dad and my brother playing basketball in our driveway and then another original page it's my youngest daughter and this is a little story about my grandma and grandpa that's a picture of my grandpa and his dad okay, so this is I entered a photo contest in Sarnia and I've got third place the cat sitting on the haystack this is a picture from a book about Vancouver a peacock And a school picture of me. I'm guessing, well, that was in the States. I moved to Canada when I was in grade eight. So I'm guessing that was either grade six or grade seven. And this paper is from my friend Tammy. And this is another original page. So I'm the one in the middle. That was Easter in 67. And then this is a picture of my family in 2001. And that was my husband, my son, my two daughters, and my son-in-law. It's another picture I took. I love taking pictures of trees. Here's another envelope I made. Kinda, <laughs> kinda crooked. I don't have anything in them yet. And then I added this cardstock and children's page, which I also sold on the back of this scrap of paper that I got from Tammy. And then this is uh, from the old scrapbook, or yeah, the old um, journal that I used. I, just took it off the page and glued it in and then this is uh, an original page another original page So is my first great niece. I got this from Tammy, I know that for sure. And then another envelope I made of a magazine page, which I sewed. If you can see it or not. Some more family pictures. 
on my original page. And this was 1933, my grandma and grandpa's wedding. And that's my great grandparents. And then some more pictures that I took. this pocket. I know I made a mistake with this one because I, uh, I originally, this is a scrapbook paper inside, but I originally wanted it so that it's here, this way, so you could see the lady and her kids, but I put the holes on the wrong side. But it's still usable, so I'm still going to use it. And this and then this is a page from the book. And this is a uh, cardstock white, some washi tape. Just a couple pages from a book. And some cardstock. Another envelope. Queen Elizabeth. Match from a magazine, which I folded over and made a, oh, I forget what they're called, but a side pocket anyway. Bring you up to date on, on it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got, maybe you got an idea or two. Have a wonderful day. Bye.